Here's something I want to talk about real quick. Keys. What key you sing in when you're performing or recording your music. I had a, a real revelatory experience when I went to Norway. In America, we're always taught, you know, sing up. Sing up, keep pushing. I mean, this was the battle between Marvin Gaye and Barry Gordy, where Mar you know, Barry Gordy wanted him to sing on a higher key than he felt comfortable with because he felt it had the urgency. I mean, think of Don Henley. Don Henley was always, you know, pushing it as far as he could go. And there's many, many other singers in that category. In fact, he re-recorded The Boys of Summer, one of his biggest hits, even though it was done finished, because Bob Seeger came in the room and said, Hey man, you could sing that higher. So they went and re recorded the whole thing. Okay, that's valid. And I understand the psychology behind that. Maybe it cuts through the radio. Um, maybe people relate to it maybe better with the pushing the urgency. I don't know about that. But I, I get it. I get why it's a thing. However, when I went to Norway for the first time, I noticed that they were embracing for men, if, if for instance, baritone voices much better than tenors and some other countries as well, I noticed that. And when I went to do my first recording session there, they kept going, no oh, man, bring the key down, bring the key. And I'm like, what do you mean bring the key down? We're always taught to bring the key up. No, bring the key down, come on, bring it. And we would bring it down one, two, three steps even, which is a lot. And now all these years later, I'm listening back to those recordings and I'm going, you know, they were right. Another thing is, it makes it a lot easier to sing when you get older. <laughs> so just think about that. I want you to think about like what, what we're conditioned to believe is necessary and what we're conditioned to think is the right way to do things. Take your time and figure out your keys. Not necessarily so they'll be easier to sing when you get older, but like a lot of my favorite singers sing in a lower register, um, a lot lower than I was used to when I was growing up. So put some serious thought behind that and try many different keys as you're working out where you think you belong. And you also might find that where you think you sit commercially is actually not what's best for your voice in the end to convey your best artistic intentions.